Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to our first look at Fishing Sim World, the Bass Pro Shops Edition. Huge thank you to the guys from Dovetail Games for sending me out a key to check this game out. Um, just load it in. All I've done is turn the music down. That's about it. Um, what I want to do is go into career mode, I guess, and just see how we go. I don't know if we need to do tutorials. We won't worry about it. We'll just learn as we go. So, welcome to career mode. Get ready to start your journey from amateur angler to the very top of the fishing world. There are two different tours for you to compete in, which you can opt into or out of at any point during your career. As you achieve success, you will gain followers. The more followers you have, the more interest you will generate with the potential sponsors. Tournament wins and sponsorship bonuses will both add to your total career earnings. We wish you the best of luck. Right, welcome thank you. Sim world career mode. Like all pros, you will start out in the amateur ranks, where you can choose to fish the disciplines that interest you the most. The events are split into Bass and Predator, and you are free to join or leave any of these tours as you wish throughout your career. As you compete in the events, you will earn tour points and prize money, as well as gaining followers. The more followers you have, the more interested different sponsors will become in signing you up for endorsement deals. The tour points you earn from events are added up throughout the season. Finish high enough in the end of the season rankings, you may be eligible to move up to the pro league. Sponsorship contracts can be for varying lengths and worth different amounts. It is possible to negotiate a better deal, but you do run the risk of putting off a potential sponsor. Meeting sponsorship goals will not only keep your sponsors happy, but will also earn you bonuses that are added to the prize money you win from tournaments. Together, these give you your overall career earnings, which will continue to grow with the more success you have. For each discipline, you have a tournament jersey, where the brand logos of your sponsors are worn with pride. The primary sponsor will be displayed most prominently on the front of your jersey. You can change the base colors of your jerseys at any point throughout your career. Perform well enough and you may be invited to join the elite division. This is where the best of the best compete for the ultimate in angling glory. All right, guys. Um, so, select where we're from. Of course, most of you guys probably know I'm from Australia. Uh, select. Yep. Okay. Continue. Primary color it doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, hat. Definitely want a hat. Black, and we'll go with the red because it'll match our outfit. The sunglasses. We're on. There we go. Let's go. Black and red lens. Oh yeah, that looks good. Shoes. Eh, who cares, to be honest. Um, and we can change either side, but let's not worry about it for now. Okay, so we can either go the Bass Tour or the Predator Tour. So this series is all about the Bass. Complete the multiple events throughout the season with the global, with the goal of finishing at the top of the of the end of the season rankings. Good luck. The world of predator fishing awaits you. With a wide variety of events spread throughout the year, you will have to bring your A game to fish at the very top. Let's just start with a bass tool. We'll go with both, I guess. Why not? So season one, we're an amateur, of course. Event calendar, Stony Bay open. So the two bass, I think. Um, all the other stuff is locked. So let's just go um, start, practice, tackle box. Don't really have anything decent, I don't think. So species doesn't actually say what they are, does it? If I use the mouse, nope, that's a bit of a shame. Right, start event. So I don't know how to cast. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Um, I assume it's probably not that hard. But, um, we'll work it out. Hopefully, we can at least get one fish. That would be nice. I'm not sure how long the days are going to be. So it might be one day per episode. It might be two days per episode. I don't know, but if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you, you know, leave a comment so you want to, to see some more. Welcome to the next event on the tour. With prize money and tour points up for grabs, there's a lot at stake for each of our competitors. So let's take a look at the rules ahead of today's competition. Oh, it's good to know the rules. Um, cast by filling up a power meter, the more full the bar, further you cast. 
Total cast control gives you complete control of the rod's movement and allows you to choose when you release the line. This version of cast control is difficult to master, but it's more accurate and allows you to cast further. Mm. Let's go with basic for now, because I am pretty basic. All right, let's continue. What are the rules? Round one rules, best five weight bass. Okay, so I need to get five fish. Got nothing so far, which is fair enough. Um, I think I pressed... Oh, no, up, there you go. Never mind. All right. Um, do I need to go and get my boat, or do I just... Quick, run! Where's my boat? There it is. Uh, board boat. I don't know what we're looking for. Would not have a clue where to go. Uh, map summary. They're all boat ramps. Okay, let's go. How to find them. There we go. When hunting for bass, you first want to locate structures. Structures are physical aspects shaped by the environment, such as drop-offs, creek channels, flats, humps, and points that can normally be found in changes of depth or shape of the lake bed. Bass will orientate themselves around structures and use them to navigate between points so they're good to use when selecting your fishing spots. A shoreline is a structural feature which you can expect to find bass around, especially when in the presence of cover. When targeting a shoreline, you want to aim your cast parallel to it as this keeps your lure in an area called the strike zone. The longer your lure remains in the strike zone will increase your odds of hooking a fish. Once you've reached a structure you want to fish, you want to identify and target specific cover near that structure. Cover is defined as objects that exist on or around the surface, such as trees, rocks, weeds, lily pads, docks, and bridges. Bass will gravitate towards cover for protection and to ambush prey, making cover an ideal target to position a lure. Having such a large body of water to target fish, you will need to narrow your focus for choosing where to fish. By being observant of structure and cover on and around the lake, you'll be able to identify populated fishing spots across different lakes. All right. I figured that's what we're looking for, but I wasn't quite sure. Um, all right, we'll head this way. I don't know if there's much in here. Uh, probably not. Hopefully it's not too loud to sound. It's quite loud for me, but that's because I always have my headphones up too loud. That might be a bad spot over there. Oop. Let's go down in here. There's some rocks in here, so let's see how we go. I don't want to go too far because it's um like a 20 minute round, I think. Well, let's um switch to fishing. There we go. Holding a rod, you can you can cast anywhere near the water. Uh, left trigger to cast. Uh, activate troll mode. What's troll mode? Oh, that's the obviously. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Um. Fifty-five percent. Okay. There we go. Right. Reel in. Let's think real speed. Where's our real speed? Okay. There we go. Stop and go slow. Can't actually see if there's anything around though. Oh, look at that, there we go. There's some fish there, but. Okay, I don't think they're coming for us. Let's reel it in. Let's go again. Uh, 55% was what we had last time. 
let's just um, deactivate trauma mode. There we go. Line clip. I don't know what line clip does. Can't actually see the fish now. There's one. Right, what do we do now? Oh. I don't even know what I've got to do. <laughs> oh, that would help if I knew what I had to do. Let's see if there's another video. Um, uh, bit of fish, it covers managing the line tension. When Minute finding nine. Why a not? fish, you need to manage the tension on the line. Too low or too high, and you're in danger of losing the fish. The drag system can be adjusted to increase or decrease the resistance on the line. If you set the drag system to its maximum, the fish won't be able to pull line from the reel at all. But this will put more tension on your line. Okay. If you set it to its lowest setting, the fish will pull the line out easily and swim further away. Oh, this that will happened. put less tension on your line. Keep the pressure on and eventually the fish will tire out, making it easier to reel in. You can also increase or release pressure as well as guide the fish by moving the rod while reeling. This icon shows that the fish is exhausted and ready for netting. You will be Beautiful. rewarded with experience points based on the size. Right, that'll do. Let's try it back out again and see what happens. Right, so now how do we... Got the real speed, reset, cast, line clip. It looks like a big monster bass. Look at him. Big fatty there. Come on, we haven't got much time left. Somebody bite something. There we go. Oh. Right, so. I'm not sure what we need to do. Okay, so maybe if we go, that'll hook us. Okay, let's reset cast. Oh, good. It helps if we know what we're doing, doesn't it? Let it sink a little bit. Come on, how come you're not reeling in? There we go. There we go, like that. Four strike. I don't know why it was a poor strike. Got him on. Let him go. Ah. Uh, all right. This is a little bit harder than it looks, I think. Because I'm using the control. The control probably doesn't help, to be honest. Um, let me put the control down. I mean, not that I'm obviously not that very not very good anyway. Right, so reel in speed is nine and zero. Left mouse is to reel in. Jesus, all right. Cast. So I've obviously got to pull down on the mouse if we're using the mouse to strike. And I don't know if I need to strike straight away or do I need to wait a little bit. 
No, that's a poor strike. Oh, what was going on then? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what was going on then. Let's throw it back out again. that big one. Look at that big fella. Come down here and get dish. Get dish Lua. Oh, he's coming from a mile away. Oh, he's from straight past. That was a big guy too. Right, poor strike. Alright, so I'm, I'm only reeling in not very much to be honest. There we go, we got one. Hey! Finally! Yes. Yes, we got a fish. Um, £2.15, personal best. Hell yeah, that was good. Alright, um... Let's cast out about 75% now, because I know there's a big one over there. But, whether we're going to get it or not, I don't know. Now, do I need to strike the minute he bites the line, or do I need to wait a little bit? Look at this guy, he's big. Is he, is he coming? Is he coming? Ooh. They're getting interested. Interested, but he's not going for it. Come on. See, that's another poor strike. Maybe because I'm... There we go. I've got to have the rod going the same way as the fish, I think. That would probably help. Give it a little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. It's only another baby one, though, but... Hey, it doesn't matter. That's two. Three pound four ounces. Ah, I'm happy with that one. All right, why don't we go? We're in seventh. Yeah, there we go. Let's drive around the other side of this rock. Eleven minutes to go. All right, we'll go switch to fishing. All right, we'll have a bit of a throw over here. Hopefully, it doesn't land on the rock. There we go, that's alright. Look at that big one. I don't, that's not a bass though, so we don't want that guy. Could give it a little bit of a shake around. What's, what's a line clip? Oh, it clips how far. Come on, fishy, fishy. I don't know how deep they are though. I haven't seen anything too deep just yet. See, there's all weeds and stuff down here. It'd be good if we could have a free camera mode so you could sort of look around a little bit, but can't see anything down deep. Right, let's maybe go this way. Cast 100%. Is that'll affect our distance and accuracy if we do that too much. Alright, let's... There we go. Another poor strike. Really, it's one flat out. It's one. Ah, oh. that was close. All right, let's throw again. So we're in thirteenth now. So we've only got eight minutes to go. Oops. It's all right. It's um. 
in the water. Bounced off the rock, but it's in the water. Well, that's not a bus up there, I don't think. Oh. Was he coming for it then? I pulled it away from him. Maybe. Oh. I did it again. Come on, fishy, fishy. You can see it. Reel it all the way in, I think. Let's go back over this way. I need to hurry up. Oop, that wasn't very good. I can't even see if there's anything down there. Right, 90%. We're dropping back to 19th. Oh, it's Hopefully something around. Trying to move the mouse left and right. It's not what we want though. It's actually tough. I don't think we're going to reel this thing in, honestly. Oh, and a half away, this thing. Ah, oh, no, there we go. Right, let's reset our cast. That wasn't what we are after. Let's, um... Go and find a different spot. We haven't got much time left. There's a rock over there, but... around this other side. Only six pounds. I mean, for our first tournament, I guess it's not bad. Oh, let's go here. Okay, switch to fishing. Fifty percent. I don't think that's a bass there either. I'd see a great deal. Uh, that's not... Oh, it could be a bass. Like a different version of a bass, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. Keep forgetting which way I'm going. Decent size one. It's taking a taking a fight. Oop! No! Don't let him go. Ooh, that was close. I've got to tire him out. Oh. oh, we lost it. God damn. Well, now we're in trouble. 67th. Oh, 
Alright, let's reel in. Hopefully we can get something again pretty quick. We need at least two more decent sized fish. I know we've lost a couple, which probably hasn't helped. Things going like crazy. Not sure if I should have the rod up or down or Tell us yeah, he's ten yards away. Seven yards away. There we go. What I like to see. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Give it a good kiss. Seven pound. Eleven ounces. Does that get us to the top? Should be close to it. Oh, gets us to the top. Else, yeah. Or tied for first with Rory Ellis. Let's hope for one more little one. We've got two minutes to go. Oh, here he comes. Come on, man. Come on, get this lure. Let's reel it in nice and slow. Ooh, come on. You know you want it. Not you. Thought that was a poor strike. This thing is going to be tough, I think. I can see it now. Drop back to fourth. Come on, we need you, fish. We need you. Got like 54 seconds to reel him in. Still. Ah, oh, damn you. Ah, uh, unbelievable. Come on. I mean, still top 10 would be awesome. For our first attempt, that's not too bad. Just gonna have to get the hang of reeling in the fish and everything. Let's reset cast quickly. 35%. Hurry up and get it in. I don't know if it's really going to make any difference because we've got like 8 seconds to go. Nah. Ah, oh well. Still pretty good though. So Stony Bay Open, round 1 rules, best 5 weight bass, total score 13 pound 14 ounces. Pretty happy with that. So. Two small mouth and a large mouth bass. Seven pound eleven is our best so far. Fifteenth overall. Peter White was seventeen pound. So we're running four pound off. Just under four pound, which isn't too bad. Eighty six points. The best is a hundred, so hey, I can't complain. Um fifteenth position, five hundred dollars, net worth five hundred bucks, followers plus five. Yay hey. Beautiful, so that's not too bad for our first effort, I guess. Just going to take a little bit more practice for us to actually start to get some um, more fish. So I wonder if... Um... Oh, that event finished. Oh, that was only a one-day thing. It's a bit of a shame. I'd like to have had um, more than one day, but um, it is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. As I said, if you want to see some more... Leave a comment and let me know. Ideas, suggestions as well. Comment section. You guys know where it is. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brodo. Thanks for watching. 
See you again soon.